Five weird discoveries in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2's leaked beta you possibly didn't know. So most of us have played or watched Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and what it consists of. But did you know there was a leaked beta version of the game? For some reason, if you dig down deep enough in Steam's files, you can locate another version of the game. However, this version is an unpolished debug version that was used to test the game's functionality as a build. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of weird things in it. So I hope you enjoy this look at five different discoveries I stumbled upon while exploring it. Number one. So one of the best things about developer builds of games is that they often leave an additional functionality that aids developers for testing. Now, I'm not an Unreal developer myself, but I've certainly used developer builds with the game engine Unity to tackle problems within my own games, and it's super helpful. And one of the most useful things you can do, especially in a game as dark as Poppy Playtime, is toggle on universal flat lighting. With this enabled, anything that can accept light will be fully lit up uniformly. And this is super helpful when trying to locate secrets out of bounds. So upon starting Chapter 2, I begin to mess around with exploring the black void outside the level. And before it had the flat lighting enabled, I saw something super far away. So naturally, I began to approach it. But the problem was that it disappeared as I got closer. I realized this was a glitched draw distance issue given the performance level of the beta version of the game. So I kept moving forward, and I eventually found it. To my surprise, it was a large gray room in the middle of nowhere. It had a small window on one side, and the other side was completely open. Upon turning on better lighting, I realized the floor and walls were gray alternating tiles. I don't know why this room is out here, but it's very, very far out of bounds. Heading in a different direction, I found a broken wall made of bricks. Again, not sure why a developer left this out here, but they are pretty neat finds when you're out exploring space. Plus, I found myself a new secret hideout, so that's cool. Number 2. We jump into a giant slide once Poppy gets kidnapped and pulled down the giant pit by Mommy Longlegs. This slide takes us to an underground area with other slides. Now, while checking these slides out, I realized that only the middle slide is fully modeled. The other ones just abruptly end. But it was while I was checking this out that I found something really bizarre. So I began traveling around this room out of bounds when I saw something moving in the darkness. And to my surprise, it was Poppy. But this Poppy doll was really, really cursed. For one, it was missing all of its facial textures. Her face was in complete darkness, and her human eyes twitched around. I decided to jump on top of her, and I actually could just stand on her. It was kind of weird just floating here. But that's when I noticed something super creepy. While watching her face, her eyes actually rolled to the back of her head, and they became completely bloodshot. It freaked me out a bit, I'm not gonna lie. So it turns out that this poppy is actually the poppy that Mommy Longlegs holds in the cutscene. The second we shoot her hand towards the red switch, this poppy will be teleported into the hands of Mommy Longlegs. She still doesn't have facial textures in the beta build for me, so I have no idea what's going on there. The developers of Poppy Playtime load her into the game with the entire area, so that when she's called upon to appear in the game, no further loading needs to take place. It's quite the clever design trick, and that's why she's hidden out of bounds. My theory about why her eyes flip around backwards is due to them being independent of the body. So when Mommy moves around in the cutscene, they are actually still facing the player, only her body is rotated. It's kinda cool. Number 3. So the game station normally has a full toy train resting in it. Obviously, in the normal game, we get on the train and ride away. But the train in the beta version of the game is a little, uh, unfinished? It doesn't have all its carts, and the front isn't even painted. Not only that, but the first time I made it here in the beta version, the train wasn't even here. The track was completely empty, and I was really confused. I did find a floating piece of the train code, though. It seemed really large in size, but I was able to jump on top of it and use it as a floating platform. So I'm not entirely sure why the train wasn't here for me the first time, but upon revisiting this area, the train was back. But while a disappearing train is cool, there's another train I actually want to talk about. So for some reason, there's a copy of a longer train stored in the ceiling of the game station. If we fly out of the ceiling, there's a train completely hidden in darkness. But with our universal lighting on, we can check it out. We can walk on top of it, and it's pretty cool to see everything below us. I'm not entirely sure why they have the unfinished train down below, while they have the fully polished train floating up in the sky, but it's a pretty neat find. Number 4. So, we're not done with trains quite yet, because the train tunnel in the beta version is absolutely insane. It goes on forever and ever. But not only that, if we pop our heads out of bounds, just take a look at how absurd this train track is. Why would anyone ride this? I decided to walk along the track, heading past the point where Poppy makes his turn. We never got to see what was down this way, so I figured I'd check it out. 
it goes straight for a very long time, until eventually you can see two sets of tracks stacked on top of each other. It's a bit odd, but it then abruptly ends. Heading out the other way, I decided to travel all the way down the train tracks, and it took forever to reach the bottom. Honestly, it felt like 10 minutes of just moving. When I was at the bottom, I looked up above me and it was a pretty cool sight. I honestly don't think you can normally make it down here. For one, the train tracks don't have collision, and two, there's a death barrier that will kill the player. I skipped past it though, so I could get this view. Heading back to the train though, there's some funny things with it. The inside completely looks different, and the front panel has changed. But when we set the train into motion, the train itself doesn't turn like it does in the final version of the game. The back half of the train is completely stiff, and it just sticks out straight as it plows through a nearby wall. It's a really funny sight to see, and it looks so broken. Eventually, the train gets stuck in a never-ending loop waiting for us to pull the lever, so it never actually drops down that crazy downhill section. I was really hoping to see it drive down that. Number 5. PJ Pugapeller's room is a bit strange in the beta. I decided to go into the room before it normally activates. I was surprised to see that in this version, the room actually extends for a very long time. There's some blocks and stuff that prevent you from moving on, but it is nothing like the cave-in that happened in the official version. I decided to walk around to check out as much as I could, and eventually I headed out of bounds. There's some text beneath the floor that is similar to the text in the final chase scene, but I think the thing I was most interested in was the fact that Mommy Longlegs is always in this room. Even if you don't enter or activate the room, she is pressed up against the glass, and her head always follows the player. This is similar to how Huggy Wuggy in Chapter 1 is always designed to look at the player. But, this type of head movement gets a bit glitchy if the player goes behind them. The head is forced to look towards them, and it often starts to look pretty darn painful. I guess if anyone could turn their heads around 180 degrees, it definitely would be Mommy Longlegs though. But, that wraps up 5 weird discoveries in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 Secret Beta Build. Subscribe now if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all really soon in my next one. Cheers!